Ooh, 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 I thought I broke it. <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm Brittany MacArthur. Hi, Brittany! And this is, um, wait, I'm a senior at Northwest High School. Duh. Um, and this poem is titled, Her Face. I see her face in the prepubescent girl on her way to getting her first period, convinced that the blood flowing from her body is a sign from God saying, your time is up. I see her face in the pregnant 14-year-old, convinced by her 18-year-old boyfriend that sex was the only love that she would receive from anyone. I see her face in, on the women in the clinics, afraid to discover the STDs invading their bodies or about to let go of the very life they've created because they've been told it's the only way. I see her face on every girl, lady, or woman uneducated about sex because of someone else's perception. Have you seen her face? Contorted with confusion, not knowing what is right because your parents say, be pure, just wait, pounding it into you with the gavel of abstinence, not explaining why or answering the questions. Then media comes in, MTV saying, sex is amazing, be dangerous and dirty, society is stupid, use a condom. What? <laughs> society and media the condemnation of her common sense now. What can she do? The real question should be, what can we do? When we see her in that young girl's face, we need to teach her that she's just blossoming into the beautiful woman she was meant to be. We need to show that pregnant 14-year-old what real love is, that it's not sex, but an unconditional, incomprehensible emotion that will wrap you up like the love she's about to experience for her child. When we see her painted upon the faces of the women in the clinics, we need to let them know it's okay, regardless the outcome. Why aren't we teaching our girls, our ladies, our women, instead of having them trapped in a deluded world of I don't knows and I'll learn from the television? because I want to know how to help her, how to teach her, how to mold her. So when I look in the mirror and see her face, I'll know that she's just a piece of me.